The SLFP MP Suleta government called on his eminence Malcolm Cardinal Wandrit, the Archbishop of Colombo. Since then, they had neoliberal concepts in their mind. When the late Bandar Naika founded the Sri Lanka Freedom Party, he put forward a party that took decisions for the nation, religion, the poor and based on socialism. I do not think it will be an easy task for both these visions to merge together. A large number of people cannot afford three meals a day. The number of people who suffer increases when the open economy is allowed to operate freely. At present, a large number of people have lost confidence. At this moment, the Sri Lanka Freedom Party needs to awaken itself. The key objective should not only be to establish a coalition government. The key objective should be to develop the country in a way it would benefit the people as a whole and not a small group. The Sri Lanka Freedom Party had a historic responsibility to fulfill at that point. I do not think the Sri Lanka Freedom Party can move together with this vision. Political leaders need to understand clearly whether adopting things from other nations is suitable for our country or not. We must be sensitive to the economic and cultural values that the people aspire for. If we are doing things that are required by foreigners, it is something similar to adopting a policy of committing suicide. So we require leadership from the president at this point to prevent such things from happening. He does not need to fear anyone. He needs to stand firm. The people expect that from him. If the people's expectations are not met, the people would do what they need to do. We may remain in power for 10 years or even 20 years, but it only takes the people two seconds to decide. At that moment, the people judge our entire performance. If one is staying away from the people during the entire 10-year period and is not sensitive to the people's needs, in these two seconds, the people would cut him off. Your Eminence, in recent times, members of the United National Party called on the President it is better for the Prime Minister to retire. We informed him of the same. He made a great attempt at that time. The motion of no confidence came to the fore when he did not agree to the request. When people were placing their signature, the silent approval was given. He gave his approval when we were voting in favour of the no confidence motion. He asked us to go to the opposition. Our attempt is to pull the SLFP completely out of this government. He has not shown any objection towards it. Our aspiration is not to make Sri Lanka another Singapore. It is better if steps are taken to provide the required amount of wealth and facilities to create an environment where the people can live happily and carry on with their lives. If not, before long, Sri Lanka will explode.